Tonight, a senior intelligence official with direct knowledge of the top secret report says several states had their voting registration system successfully compromised by the Russian government. This after U.S. officials had previously revealed 21 states were targeted. We asked Homeland Security's Chief of Cybersecurity, Jeanette Manfra, about that secret document. And I can't talk about classified information publicly. We saw targeting of 21 states, and an exceptionally small number of that 21 were actually successfully penetrated. The fear Russia would remove voters' names from the rolls, creating chaos, potentially swinging the election. We were able to determine that the scanning and probing of voter registration databases was coming from the Russian government. Jay Johnson was DHS secretary when these Russian intrusions were taking place. U.S. intelligence knew by the summer of 2016 the hacking originated from Russia. Two months later, they told the public. Should you have done it before October 7th? Anytime you make a difficult national security decision, somebody says, why did you do that? And then somebody else says, why didn't you do it sooner? It turned out voters' names were not removed in 2016. But what about this year? My worry is that since that time, a lot of states have done little to nothing to actually harden their cybersecurity. I would not agree with that assessment. I would say they have all taken it very seriously. NBC News reached out to those 21 states. California and Texas, among others, say their voter system was never attacked. I stand by the list. This was a snapshot in time um, with visibility that the department had at the time. But now, with nine months to go before critical midterm elections, what's being done to secure the vote? DHS is offering cybersecurity help, but some states tell us they're still waiting. Is there a waiting list for DHS help in the election? No. With regards to the election? There's no waiting list. No waiting list. No waiting list. Secretary Manfred says they will get to everybody and takes us to the secure location where experts look for vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. It's a very small, lean, mean team here. It is. It is. But I like to think that we have some of the best and the brightest. But some states question whether the federal government should be involved at all. What do you say to the states who say, we're fine, we're good, thanks a lot, see ya? And I say you're being naive and irresponsible to the people that you're supposed to serve. 2016 was the wake-up call, and now it's incumbent upon states and the feds to do something about it before our democracy is, is attacked again. Many of the states complained to us that the federal government did not provide them with specific threat details, saying that information was classified and state officials did not have proper clearances. Well, DHS Assistant Secretary Manfred tells us those clearances are now being processed. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.